Now, the public broadcaster prides itself on producing award-winning journalists, and recently our SABC News journalist Janine Lee and a great friend of Morning Live scooped an award at the Vodacom Journalist of the Year Award for her coverage of the killing of Riva Steenkamp. The award she received was for her powerful, innovative profiling and uh, general news around uh, a rather tragic story. Our reporter and winner of the 2013 television news journalist Janine Lee is right behind me and uh, she joins us from our Port Elizabeth studios. Well done Janine Lee, I'm so proud of you. Uh, thanks so much Leanne, um, it feels really special to be sitting here so um, thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different, hey? usually I'm crossing to you saying right Janine, now what's happening, what, who's done what and to whom? But now, now I'm actually just, <laughs> I'm interviewing you, this is a nice feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's strange for me because normally I do a bit of research about what I'm going to talk to you guys about, but yeah. I mean, what, what do I do? I, <laughs> but yeah. it's good. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch you off guard now. I'm going to ask you just a little bit about your sort of beginnings in journalism. When did you start off at the SABC? Um, actually, and just before the 1994 elections, I, was, um, I got a contract as a researcher and I started here at the SABC in the Eastern Cape and I did a lot of stories or I researched a lot of stuff around the elections and then I would go to the journalists and say listen he has a great story but you know journalists we've all got our own agendas and they were too busy to do it so um, I spoke to our then regional editor Ray Nell and I said you know Mr Nell I've got this story and whatever he says Janine you just go and do it mm -hmm. and then after the six months were up um, I, he gave me another contract and then after that he said you know we'd like to employ you permanently yeah. so that's where it all started. That's amazing it's just it's having that one individual that gives you that lucky break because I mean that's you know that's what we all need I suppose in this in this industry and every other industry is just being given that chance and that, that lucky break out there. Yeah, I know, Leanne, I must say, I, I got it and I, I took it and I must, I've never looked back. It's just been such a privilege to be able to have a platform to maybe give a voice to people that, that don't have a voice and yeah. be able to tell stories that, that might not, you know, ever get out there and that the public may never know. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about this story because this story, I mean, it's an ongoing story. I, I don't even think we've, you know, this, the, w this was just the beginning of the story. This story is still going to get deeper and more intense and it's going to continue. But when this news broke, um, what was your immediate reaction? Do you remember that day? I do, Leanne. We, we heard whisperings that um, the, the girl who had been shot was from Port Elizabeth. And always when the Oscar story broke, there were always going to be two parts once we knew that it was Reva Steenkamp. And we knew that she had gone to school here in Port Elizabeth to St. Dominic's Priory School. So that was actually our starting point because you, you probably will remember that her parents and close family members, there was a complete blackout. They were, nobody was speaking um, from her close family. So, you know, I, I had a story that I needed to do, but I, I had no starting point to go to. So we, we started with her school and we spoke to a couple of teachers and then we spoke to other people who said speak to somebody. Then we found a close friend. Then, so we sort of built her up from her, her primary school days to, to where she is today. We spoke to her, her previous fashion editor, some of the photographers that took pictures of her. And that's actually how we built the story around her. But it was extremely difficult because nobody, nobody wanted to speak. So it, it was a big challenge for me. But I think in the end, uh, we, we managed, me and the team who was behind me, to achieve that objective. But it was, a t it was a tough one. And when I spoke to the judges at the Vodacom Awards, they said to, to me, Janine, we realized that um, you had a story, but it was going to be extremely difficult for you to get it out. Yeah. And you managed to. I mean, you did manage to get it. And we were getting, I mean, we're having a look at the visuals now. Of, I mean, we're just taken back to these these moments that uh, I think many people would rather forget and uh, uh, Reva's uncle breaking down and her brother consoling him and and there you are reporting is just outside of the church after Reva was buried it must have been a very very emotional time you know working on these stories many think that just being a journalist uh, you know you're there uh, you're covering a story but at the end of the day you're covering the loss of of a beautiful young girl who is being buried and is no longer. How do you as a journalist manage to distance yourself from this? 
You know, Leanne, it's difficult. You actually have to sort of put all your emotions aside and you have to be professional about it at all times. And probably what was the most difficult for me was everybody wanted comment from the parents and they weren't speaking. And our editors, um, well, editors are editors. They want you to get it. I can't tell you how many hours we spent camped outside Reva Steenkamp's family home in Seaview, just outside Port Elizabeth. And it's awful because you know they don't want to talk. Yeah. You know that they're grieving. And you know in the back of your head, you have to try and get that interview. So, you know, I, I knocked on the door a couple of times. I spoke to her uncle. I spoke to her half-brother. And they said no. But, you know, we knocked the day after day trying to get it. Um, so it, it's, it's a horrible one. You, you don't want to intrude on people's personal grief. And yet, um, it's our job, it's our mandate. The public want to know. So it, it, was a, it was a difficult balance, but in the end, they didn't speak. But we, we found other ways of telling the story and mm. portraying who Riva Steenkamp was. But as you said, Leanne, this story is, is far from over. I think yeah. it's going to go on for a very long time still to come. And I, I, I haven't given up on the parents. I know somebody who is a close family friend of theirs. And I, I really would like at some stage to speak to Reva's mother. Um, it's not about sensationalism. I just want to maybe find out more about, we know who she was, but perhaps there's something her mom wants to say. Mm -hmm. And maybe when, when the, the grief numbs a little bit, um, it will take time. Perhaps then she, she will speak to some of the local media. Because PE people are funny. Reva came from Port Elizabeth. PE people feel, you know, she, she's part of Port Elizabeth. Mm. Um, we're a small community here. And people probably would like her mom to speak to, to local media just to get maybe a better insight. Yeah, well, as we say, the story is developing and, uh, and we'll, we'll watch the space. Janine Lee, thank you for joining us and congratulations on, on winning that award. Do you carry it around with you? Is it there with you? <laughs> It's yeah. You, you see, I knew I'm it. Sure it had to be like, there. Like. Give us a glimpse. There you go. Janine Lee, the Journalist of the Year for 2013, the National Award. I, it's a fantastic accolade for television news. Well done to Janine. All right. Thanks for joining us, Leanne, Janine. Leanne. Yes. Leanne, yes. Leanne, before, before, before you go, I just want to say so much um, thank you to Morning Live because you guys have always been so supportive of me. Um, it, it's been a, you, you, it's a great platform f for my work, so I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, Vuyu was here to you guys. Shop, shop. Shop, shop to you Thank too. you very much. Yeah. And if, if he was here, I'll tell you what he'll give you. You know the title, everyone? Should we do it together? <laughs> oh, boy, so weird. <laughs> 100%. We all know. Janine, well done. Well done. Unbelievable. Thanks. Okay. Let us take.